This is a mod we've wanted in Space Engineers for quite a long time. This is the fully retractable landing gear mod. Now after 10 years of playing the game and landing ships in countless places and various things like that, whether it be on asteroids or planets, we've always wanted fully retractable landing gear. We've had a few mods here and there which have recreated the same thing, but never to the actual functionality of this one. These gear can actually be locked on a surface, just like your traditional landing gear. I think it's one of my most favourite mods that's appeared on a Steam Workshop in quite a long time. Hey everyone, I'm Captain Jack and welcome to Space Engineers today. We're taking a look at some mods from the Steam Workshop as per usual and this is some Killer B77 and they have produced a fully retractable landing gear mod and it is awesome. Let's take a look at how it works. So as you can see, I've got the Eclipse in front of me here, one of my trusted Corvettes. Now we've got a couple of landing gears attached at the bottom here. Let's just see how they're put into place. As you can see, these are sort of one by one, one or one by three, I think it is. It's just one block it takes up. So it's both one block high, one block wide, but three blocks long for the landing gear. You can see we've got four of these here at the rear of the ship, sort of, sort of land on there. You may think, Jack, why isn't there a front landing gear? Typically around here, I have a little door that comes down or a ramp, which extends the surface to let people off. Uh, so that's why that one is not here. But still pretty cool to have that. This is definitely a design which suits the sort of style of this anyway. Right, let's teleport myself inside like that. Ta -da! And I will show you how this works. If I get in my pilot seat, don't worry, you can download this ship from a Steam Workshop, by the way. If I get in my pilot seat and I move over here. Now what I'm going to show you is how these work. So, on number one, I've got my lock and unlock thing. So if I press this, boom, we are now unlocked. So we can jet up. There we go. And you see, they actually automatically go away, which is kind of cool. So you can also deploy them as well by doing this. I don't, they unfortunately don't really deploy when you get close to a surface. That would be pretty cool. So you sort of have to flick them on and off again. We do this. This will come out. And I can lock again. Boom. There we're locked to the ground. Pretty cool, isn't it? But obviously, if we want to go and take off and fly the ship away, it actually makes more sense to do that. So we just do unlock, Pete. And they automatically retract in. And we can fly off. Ta-da! Or maybe not fly off that badly, but you get the point. <laughs> you can sort of do that at various things and pull across there, which I think is rather nice to be fair. Now, if you want to come and land again, it just works the exact same way. And luckily, as I'll show you in a second, these actually fit on a variety of size ships. I don't want to already deployed. Do that again. And if I find the animations a little bit difficult sometimes, especially when it comes to actually uh, deploying them. We do this, and then we can land again. Boom. And they also like a susceptible bit of damage as well, so they can take up a bit of like, weight, which is quite nice. Cool, right, they're deployed there. Let's take a look at some of the building variations. So here is our actual size one. So we've got quite a few of these. If I go along my items, we've got a one by one here. Oh, I call it one by one. It's basically one W land again, one width essentially across there. We've also got a two block one, which is a little bit bigger. As you can see here, they stretch out. We then got a three, three one. This one's quite massive. Uh, and then also we've got, I think it's a four block one. This is definitely going to some capital ships. I'm imagining like a Venator class Star Destroyer landing or something. That would be pretty mental. Uh, so we've got this one here. I think it's the five one, isn't it? Is this a 5 1? I think so. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yep, so this is a 5 1. And then we've also got the small grid one as well. So if you want to land this on other ships, you've got one there. But again, this is just small grid, so you know you can build a small grid. Da -da, da -da, like that. It's pretty cool. Obviously, it's quite a big landing gear for a small grid ship. But if you make, I know some of you make sort of like transports to land on planets and things like that. So that's something just to think about when using that one there. I think that is the only small grid one we've got. I was wondering if there's a more tinier one we could use for like little shuttles and such. I think no it's only this one here but yeah so it's only that one I personally would like a one with one to actually be small grid but unfortunately we don't have one just yet mod is still a work in progress you can download it via the steam workshop let's show you another example of how this looks in it I've actually got a trade federation land over here let me show you how this works so we need to go get in the bridge section just quickly so I can actually pilot this down where is the bridge it's in here oh I'm stuck in the ceiling I've killed myself in space engineers already let's see how this works so I'm gonna hop in the pilot seat Ta da now we should be able to land this and see how it works. Oh, it's still it's still in station mode, isn't it? Honestly, you think I play Space Engineers for a living or something? Okay, we're doing it again now. We're going to bring the ship into land and see how it does. Also, it's been quite a while since we've used this creation in Space Engineers. Kind of reminds me, I keep teasing you guys with Star Wars battles. We should really do them occasionally, shouldn't we? Right, so now we can deploy them. I bet it's number five set on this one. And I set a bigger gear on this one as well. So we press number five. There we go. We can see the landing gear comes out. I've got a cool detail to mention to you guys in a about these landing gears, which some of you might find particularly interesting. Oh, okay. It's already locked. If we unlock six, and then push ourselves down, lock again. There we go. It's locked on the surface. I think we should be able to open the door now, isn't it? Number two. I don't know what button it is. Four. I don't know what button it is anymore. 
used to be able to open the doors in this, but apparently not. So what I was going to mention is collision boxes. Oh, it does open like... There we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't really bend down. Is it sh oh, it does. Okay, I'll stand corrected. All right, so we're a bit further off of his landing gears, but you get the gist. It, it would kind of work. We probably have to push his, position him in there a little bit more. But, you know, it makes sense. It works. So in terms of collision boxes, the collision box is actually removed for landing gear. So you can sort of phase through it, which is a bit annoying. The locking thing still does work, but you sort of do clip through these landing gears, which is kind of weird. But it does mean you can shoot through them as well, which is something to keep in mind. Um, so if you're targeting these landing gears on a planet's surface, aim for the central structure, which is up here, rather than the actual gear itself, as you're not going to take them out anytime soon. Bit complicated, I know, but just keep that in mind. So, this is the fully retractable landing gear mod. You can download it via the Steam Workshop. It is by KillerBee77, and again, it's one of the best mods I've seen in the Workshop as of late. Go download it and let me know what you think. Will you be using this in your Space Engineers builds? I know I certainly am. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.